Book 7, 27-37, The Riches of This World and Spiritual Riches. Dear brothers in Christ, it is with great joy that we are studying the Word of God. Together with you, in the presence of the Creator of heaven and earth, in the presence of the Lord Jesus, and in the presence of the Holy Spirit. The way we choose to lead our lives here in this world is what will determine what we will be after death. If we choose wealth, and by pretending to be superior to others, we will have to use the technique of adding only, but adding only to us. To share with others, never. So this philosophy is the philosophy of the kingdom of evil, the philosophy of selfishness, the philosophy of not being a little worried about others, not being sensitized to the suffering of others. All this is crucial for those who want the glories of this world. Because if the individual divides with others, his mountain will not grow as much as he does not divide, so what chooses the philosophy of the world has his philosophy, greed, and selfishness. However, there is another philosophy to be chosen and also that can be followed by those who opt for the wealth that remains forever. It is a philosophy certainly opposed to the philosophy of the world, it is totally the opposite. And this we will see here in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6 and verse 27 to 37 how the philosophy of those who chose eternal life works and who value the things of the kingdom of God and value eternity because they have discovered that there is no way to compare the benefits of a rotten and distressing wealth that is of this world and the spiritual richness that brings us eternal life and happiness eternal we will now see the abrupt difference between one philosophy and another herein verse 27 Jesus begins already with a phrase that in the way of seeing of the world it is utopian he says thus but though you heard me I say love your enemies the good that you hurt well says that you curse pray for them that you come when you face on one side of the face it also offers you the other face to when stealing your cover it also offers your tunny if someone asked for something give it when you take what is yours do not refuse it back you see dear brothers and sisters in Christ when we make the decision to follow spiritual philosophy we come across this philosophy that the Lord Jesus applied to the lives of those who want salvation see how this philosophy of Lord Jesus is totally opposed to the philosophy of the rich and powerful of this world but it is the philosophy that brings us to spiritual wealth and eternal life the Lord Jesus still analyzes the facts and exemplifies if we love those who love us what benefits are we doing for the people of the world also love those who love them if you make good things you do well what a difference because the world also do well to those who do him well in verse 36 he gives an example of humility if you are how mercy how your father is merciful you do not judge and I will not be judged do not condemn and you will not be condemned well brothers in Christ the philosophy of salvation it does not begin with all these forms we see here but Christian it is growing spiritually and the way it detaches itself to earthly values it grows in spiritual values until we become like Christ the Apostle Paul says that we must grow spiritually until we come to the stature of Christ Paul also says that the life of the Christian is like the dawn that the Sun rises and grows brighter until it is a perfect day so the Christian he grows spiritually and abandoning the practices of this world and adapting more and more the philosophy of love of goodness and of mercy amen glory to God